May the name of our Lord, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, through his son, who is our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, I would like to welcome all the children and also all the ages as well, including our grandparents. God wants us to look upon this matter, the commandments, and we will be looking upon the commandments of God and also the commandments of the devil. We have heard a lot about the commandments of God and also through the insight of God, through his word, through his Holy Spirit, then God will reveal upon the commandments of the devil. So, before we start, let's pray. Heavenly Father, King of kings, Lord of lords, and God of gods, you are the teacher above all teachers. Lord, we are praying through your Holy Spirit. May you open our eyes and let us see what we ought to see through the Holy Scriptures. In Jesus' name, Amen. So, the commandments. And we have the commandments of God. We'll be looking at the commandments of God. So, in this column... We have the commandments of God. Of God. And in this column, we'll have now the commandments of the devil. We have commandments of God and we also have commandments of the devil. There is nothing like middle ground. There is nothing like uh, I'm not under the commandments of God and I'm not also under the commandments of the devil. There is nothing like middle ground. And let's look at the commandments of God. This is Exodus we are reading. We will be reading March, Exodus, Exodus chapter 20, verse 3 to 17. So we are reading from Exodus chapter 20, verse 3. Thou shall have no other gods before me. Thou shall have no other gods before me. So the commandment of the commandment of God, the first commandment of God is that we should have no other gods before him. So in short, no other gods. Okay, so this is the first commandment in the column of the commandments of God. So the commandment of the devil. Let's read Matthew, Matthew, Matthew chapter 4, verse 8 to 10. Matthew chapter 4, verse 8. Again, the devil taketh him up into an exceedingly high mountain, and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them. The devil took Jesus Christ and sh showed him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them and said unto him, so the devil is telling Jesus Christ, all these things will I give Thee, if thou will fall, will fall down and worship me. So the devil is uh, telling Christ to 
worship him. The first commandment we saw God is telling us we should have no other gods before him. And here we see that the devil is telling Christ to worship him. So the devil is telling Christ to worship him. So God is saying no other gods. The first commandment of the devil is worship or have, have other gods. Yes, have other gods. The first commandment of God is have no other gods before me. We have the commandments of the devil. The first commandment is have other gods. Have other gods before you are God. Okay? So, and say it unto him, all these things Will I give thee if thou wilt fall down and worship me? So God is saying, don't worship any other God apart from him. Then the devil is telling Christ to worship him as a God. Have other gods. Uh, we can also read Second, Second Corinthians chapter 4 second corinthians second corinthians chapter 4 verse 4 in whom the god of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not lest the light of the glorious gospel of christ who is the image of god should shine upon them in whom the God of this world. Do you see that? Yeah. In whom the God of this world. The God of this world is the devil. The devil. God is warning us in his first commandment that we are not supposed to worship any other God, gods before him. But the devil is telling Christ that uh, he will give Christ all the glory of the world if Christ will only worship him as a God. So we have read Second Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4. The devil, the Bible, or God of the Bible, recognized the devil as a God of this world. The devil is the God of this world. So, uh, when the devil is telling Christ, I will give you all these things, you only need to worship me, then the devil himself, he, he is a God of this world with small g. So, the second commandment, let's go back to Exodus chapter 20 verse, verse 4. So we ought to be very careful because there is no middle ground. Yeah, I've had many people confessing that they are not under the commandments of God. You need to know one thing. If you are not serving uh, the commandments of God, then you are serving the commandments of the devil, consciously or unconsciously, because God has his commandments and also the devil also has his commandments. So... Exodus chapter 20 verse 4, Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not make unto thee any, any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the <clears throat> earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shall not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, for I, the Lord, thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity 
of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, though shall not bow down. Do you see that? Though shall not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. So God is warning us. The second commandment of God, we are not supposed to make images. We are we are not supposed to make images or no images. And also, we are not supposed to serve. We are not supposed to bow down. Nor, okay, nor, nor serve. Serve. Idols. Yeah, we are not supposed to make images uh, or bow down nor serve idols. So, we'll read the same book, Matthew, the second commandment of the devil, the book of Matthew, chapter 8. Now, we will read until verse 10. Again, the devil taketh him up into an exceedingly high mountain and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them and said unto him, All these things will I give thee if thou wilt fall down and worship me. Then saith Jesus unto him, Get thee. Hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, this is the commandment of God, and him only shall thou serve. And said unto him, All these things I will I give thee, if thou wilt fall down and worship me. So the devil is telling Christ to fall down and and, and worship him, meaning, and serve him. So God is saying, make no images and bow down to no images, nor serve them. The devil is saying, bow down to images. Bow down to him. Bow down to, bow down to him, the devil. Bow down to the devil and also worship him or serve serve the devil yeah the second commandment of god is we are not supposed to make any images of his likeness and also we are not supposed to bow down nor serve those images or idols then the second commandment of the devil is bow down to the devil, bow down to images and also serve the devil, worship the devil. So, as you can see, there is no middle ground. It's either you are serving God or you are serving the devil. Then, serving the devil doesn't mean only uh, to just uh, bow down before the devil. It can also mean that I can serve my body with fornication, because the devil is the father of fornication. I can serve my body with lies. The devil is the father of lies. Uh, lust, the devil is the father of lust. So if I am serving, if, if lust is controlling my heart, then I'm serving the devil or the devil is my Lord. And if fornication is uh, the Lord of my soul, then it is clear that the devil is the Lord and I am worshiping the devil if lies is what is inside my heart and controlling me consciously constantly and continuously then it means that i am serving the devil then this is also worshiping the devil so if you are living in flesh or if i am living also in flesh then it is clear that i am serving the devil there are many people think that uh some people 
uh, devil worshippers and some have also sold their souls to Illuminati. But not uh, realizing that uh, if I am ruled by fornication or if I am in adultery or even lies consciously, constantly and continuously or these are my lifestyle, this is also serving the devil. This is also serving the devil because I'm, I'm doing the deeds of my father or your father who is the devil. So you can see there is nothing like middle ground. It's either you are serving God. It's, it is either you are under the commandments of God or you are under the commandments of the devil himself. So the third commandment of God Let's go back to Exodus. Exodus verse 7. Thou shall not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. <clears throat> For the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Thou shall not, thou shall not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. For the Lord will not hold him guiltless, guiltless that taketh his name in vain. So God is warning us we are not supposed to take his name in vain. We are not supposed to uh, swear falsely. So God is saying we are not supposed to take his name in vain, swear falsely. Yes, swear falsely. You are not supposed to swear falsely. Yeah. So the third commandment of the devil, this is the first commandment. This is the second commandment. So this is the third commandment. Let's read Jeremiah chapter 7. Jeremiah chapter 7. Verse 9, Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 9. Will ye still will ye will you still will ye still murder and commit <clears throat> adultery and swear falsely? And burn incense unto Baal. Burn incense unto Baal. This is also the second commandment of the devil. Bow down to the devil. Serve the devil. Serve idols. And walk after other gods. Do you see this commandment of the devil? Yeah, the devil... was influencing the children of God to go against the commandment of God and obey the commandments of the devil whom you know whom you know not will ye still murder and commit adultery and swear falsely and swear falsely and burn incense unto Baal and walk after other gods whom you you know not will you will you still will you still murder and commit adultery and swear falsely so the devil is encouraging us god is saying do not do not do not swear falsely so the third commandment of God is do not swear falsely. Do not use the name of the Lord thy God in vain. So as we can see in the book of Jeremiah chapter 7 verse 9, will you still murder? Will you still murder and commit adultery and swear falsely? So the devil is telling us we are supposed to swear falsely. Swear 
false yeah god is commanding us do not swear falsely we're not supposed to use the name of god in vain but the devil is commanding us swear falsely use the name of god in vain and many people nowadays <clears throat> they have this uh behavior they are living a lifestyle of swearing and uh using the name of god in vain they lie and they swear they take oath by the name of god and yet they don't fulfill uh the oath that they are taking like in marriages we see it is very clear and other areas of our lives so anyone who is doing that he is not uh keeping or doing the commandment of god but he is doing and keeping and obeying the commandment of the devil swear falsely this is what the devil tells us so the fourth commandment of god let's go back to exodus exodus chapter 20 verse 8 remember the sabbath day to keep it holy remember the sabbath day to keep it holy so god is commanding us it's a commandment of god god is commanding us to keep keep the sabbath keep the sabbath holy god is not only telling us keep the sabbath but god is telling us keep the sabbath holy there are some people who are keeping the sabbath but they are not keeping it holy so god is telling us we are supposed to keep the sabbath holy not only keeping the sabbath but keeping the sabbath holy if i am in fornication if i am in fornication or if you are also involved in adultery or any kind of lust or lies yet you are trying to keep the sabbath day holy then you are not keeping the sabbath day holy so that's not keeping the commandment of god god is saying that i ought to have no other gods no images nor serving e idols i'm not supposed to swear falsely or use the name of god in vain it's as a whole not just keeping the fourth commandment and also not ig ignoring any commandment that god is telling us is commanding us we are not supposed to compromise to compromise we are not supposed to bargain with the word of god we are not supposed to uh water down any commandment god is telling us keep the sabbath holy so the fourth commandment of god and we can also see the fourth commandment of the devil ezekiel 22 verse 8 thou hast despised mine holy things and has profaned profaned my sabbaths profaned my sabbaths so the devil is commanding us to prof to profane the sabbath of god to defile the sabbath of god god is commanding us keep the sabbath holy the devil is saying don't keep the sabbath holy don't keep the sabbath don't keep the sabbath holy but profem profemly profem it profem the sabbath profem the sabbath don't keep the sabbath holy profem the sabbath anyone who is not keeping the sabbath holy anyone who is not keeping the sabbath day holy 
then he's profaning the Sabbath day. Yeah, God is not compromising. There is nothing like middle ground. There is nothing like I I have respect upon the first, the second, the third, but I jump and then I have respect upon the fifth commandment. There is nothing like that. If you are doing that, then you are not obeying the word of God as a whole. You have a problem and you need to con to confess that problem before God and repent of it. Because if you are not keeping the commandments of God, then you are keeping the commandments of the devil himself. If you are not doing the commandments of God, then you are doing the commandments of the devil. There is nothing like middle ground. Let's go back to Exodus, the fifth commandment of God. Exodus chapter 20, verse Verse 12, honor thy father and thy mother that the, thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Honor thy father and thy mother that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Honor thy father and mother. So, honoring our parents, and otherwise is respecting, respecting parents. In short, so God is commanding us, we are supposed to respect our parents. Do you respect your parents? Do I respect my parents? So, if I'm not respecting my parents, then it means that I'm not doing, I'm not keeping the commandment of God, but the command, commandment of the devil. So, let's read Revelation. The devil never uh, respected, the devil never respected God. He went against, <clears throat> against his maker. God made the devil. The devil was uh, one of the cherubims of God and God made him and the devil called God father and God called the devil uh, son. But we see that the commandment of God is respect, respecting our parents. We are supposed to honor our parents. But we see that the devil who is the father of dishonoring his parent, God, he is also teaching uh, the same commandment to his children. Anyone who has no respect towards his or her parents, then that person is keeping the commandment of the devil. And we ought also to understand our parents are also uh, uh, those who are aged. Yeah, also, we are supposed to have uh, respect towards our grandparents and also our grandfathers as well and anyone who is uh, has an older age than you we are supposed to respect them so if we will respect our parents then we will respect also other aged men or women so the fifth commandment of the devil we see that he went against his father he fought against his father then he's teaching that the entire world not to respect uh, our parents. So the devil is telling us, respect, don't respect your parents. We will see this in the book of Revelation. Revelation chapter 12, verse 7, and there was war in heaven. Do you see that? And there was war in heaven. Michael <clears throat> and his angel fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought against, and the dragon fought, and his angels, sorry. And there was war in heaven. Michael, Michael is the archangel, and his angels fought against the dragon. The dragon is the devil. And the dragon fought, and his angels 
and prevailed not, neither was there place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon, the devil, dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil, and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world, he was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. So we see we have the dragon, we see we have uh, the devil, he is the, he is the devil. The devil fought in heaven, and there was war in heaven. The devil never respected his father, his creator, God. So as God is commanding us, we are supposed to respect our parents and respect also him. We have a heavenly father, and we also have uh, earthly parents, earthly father. We are supposed to respect them. So the devil is telling us, don't respect your parents. Don't honor your parents. Don't don't respect your parents. Uh, in other words, the devil is telling us, don't honor your parents. God is commanding us, respect your parents. The devil is uh, commanding us, don't respect or don't honor your parents. So if I'm not honoring my parents, then it, it is clear that I am doing the will of the devil and also the com I'm keeping and practicing the commandment of the devil if I have idols if I have other gods if I am bowing down or serving uh, a statue of Mary or an idol of Mary then it is clear I'm not uh, keeping the commandment of God I'm not a Christian I am a child of the devil and I'm keeping the commandment of the devil you as well if I'm swearing falsely uh, then it is clear that I am a child of the devil don't keep the the Sabbath holy don't keep the sabbath holy profane profane the sabbath so if i am not keeping the sabbath day holy uh, it is clear that i am doing or i i am keeping the commandment of the devil there is nothing like middle ground don't respect your parents are these your fruits are these my fruits then there is nothing like middle ground, the sixth commandment of God. Let's go back to Exodus chapter 20. The sixth commandment, thou shall not kill. So God is commanding us, we are not supposed to kill. Don't, don't kill. Thou shall not kill. The sixth commandment. Then the devil telling us thou shall kill let's read john john chapter 10 verse 10 john chapter 10 verse 10 christ was describing the devil the thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy i am Come that they might have life and that they might have it more abund abundantly. The thief cometh not, but for to steal, the, the devil came to steal and to kill and to destroy. So the nature of the devil the devil is a killer and a murderer. So the devil is commanding us, kill. God is telling us, thou shall not kill. The devil is telling us, kill. Yeah, killing, you can also hurt. Hating is killing. There is a reference here, First John. First John, chapter 3, verse 15. Whosoever hated his brother is a murderer. And you know that no murderers have eternal life. So first John chapter 3 verse 15. It's clear. Hatred is killing. So the devil is telling us hate. God is telling us thou shall not hate. Thou shall not kill. The devil is telling us 
kill just hate <clears throat> also we also need to understand that uh, abortion abortion is killing abortion abortion is killing and also in the book of genesis the book of genesis i will be very very brief genesis genesis chapter 38 verse 6 to verse 10 we see onan as he was given tamar in marriage he was uh, as he was sleeping with her onan was pouring his uh, seed or his semen on ground and God killed him. The book of Genesis chapter 38 verse 6 to verse 10. Onan was pouring his semen on the ground so the Lord killed him. So anyone who is in sin of masturbation or any sin of using condoms or even family planning on and was doing family planning he is fulfilling or keeping the commandment of the devil this is killing this is killing because in the book of genesis in the same book may read genesis 15 verse 4 god is telling abraham a child from your loins loins from your loins loins <clears throat> will inherit everything that you have so children are in the loins of men loins ni kiuno kiuno loins so if someone is involved in using condoms or in masturbation pouring of uh, semen or palms on the ground this is killing this is killing because you are pouring uh, seed you are pouring sons or daughters so the devil is telling men to do abortion to continue in masturbation to continue in using uh, f family planning to continue in uh, using condoms this all is murdering this is murdering and god is telling us don't kill don't do all this foolishness this is keeping the commandment of the devil the devil is telling us kill continue anyone who lives or <clears throat> keeps this commandment God will cast him in the lake of fire so if you have been living this life God wants you to confess these sins and repent of them and believe the gospel of Jesus Christ and live a holy life and a righteous life until the end and also keeping the commandments of God very important so the seven commandment of God let's go back to Exodus Exodus chapter 20 verse 14 thou shall not commit adultery thou shall not commit adultery yeah the seventh commandment don't commit adultery yeah don't commit adultery don't commit fornication the seventh commandment of the devil is commit adultery commit fornication let's read uh, Jeremiah 
the same Jere, Jeremiah chapter 7 verse 9 Jeremiah chapter 7 verse 9 will you still will you still murder and commit adultery and swear falsely and burn incense unto Baal and walk after other gods whom you know not will ye still murder and commit adultery so these are the fruits of the devil the devil influence the children of god to commit adultery whether spiritual adultery or even physical adultery so the devil is saying commit adultery commit adultery commit adultery adultery is when you are married when you are in marriage and then you you are having sex with someone else apart from your wife or husband then that's adultery and also when we also lust upon women or men we are also committing adultery so god is commanding us don't commit adultery don't commit adultery and it is by the power of god that we don't commit adultery because he gives us his spirit so as we may keep his holy commandment commit adultery if you are committing adultery then it means that you are keeping the commandments of the devil if you are committing adultery then it is clear you are serving the devil if you are committing adultery it is it, it is clear you are a devil worshiper because you are serving the devil with the instruments of your body uh, so if you also if you are also committing fornication we have fornication here sex on fornication sex before marriage if you are not married but you are involved in fornicate in sex then that's fornication and god is calling you a fornicator so <clears throat> anyone who is in anyone who is practicing fornication anyone who is in fornication he is keeping the commandments of the devil he, he or she is a devil worshiper because he is keeping the commandments of the devil this is what god is telling us so <clears throat> we also have the eighth commandment of god The eighth commandment <clears throat> of God. Thou shall not steal. God is commanding us. Don't steal. Don't steal. So God is commanding us that we are not, we are not supposed to steal. On the other hand, the commandment of the devil is still we will we will look upon this still because the devil himself is a thief so anyone who is stealing is keeping the commandment of the devil and not the commandment of god some people uh, go to church they confess that they have been saved by grace through faith they confess that they are born again christian all all those good words but one thing that we need to understand, if you're not keeping the commandment of God, then you are keeping the commandment of the devil. There is nothing like middle ground. And if these are your fruits, then it is clear that you are keeping the commandment of the devil and you are a child of the devil because a child ought to keep the commandments of his father. So there is nothing like I, I believe that... Uh, I believe and I have faith that my father is God and yet I'm keeping the commandments of the devil. Then there is nothing like that. There is no middle ground. If I'm not keeping the commandment of God, then I'm keeping the commandment of the devil. Get it very clear, my 
friend, if you are not keeping the commandments of God, then you are keeping the commandments of the devil. There is nothing like I'm under grace. Grace is Christ and Christ was obedience, obedient towards the commandments of his father. So there is nothing like uh, middle ground. So the devil is telling, is telling you, is telling me still. So if you are stealing, then it means that you are keeping the, the, the commandments of the devil. And anyone who is stealing is a child of the devil. John chapter 10, verse 10. The thief, the devil, the, th the thief cometh not but for to steal. So the devil cometh not but to but for to steal. So the devil, Christ is calling the devil a thief and the work of the devil is to steal. So anyone who is stealing is not keeping the commandment of God because the commandment of God is very clear. God is commanding us, don't steal. So if I am involved in stealing, if you are involved in stealing, if stealing is your lifestyle, then it is clear that you are keeping the commandment of the devil and you are a child of the devil. By keeping the commandment of God by uh, faith, then it is clear that we are children of God and no one can keep the commandments of God unless he is born again, unless the spirit of God dwells in them. Uh, that's why Anyone who is not born again is a child of the devil and he or she will keep the commandment of the devil. We cannot keep the commandments of God in flesh. We have to die together with Christ and the spirit of Christ being, uh, being imputed in our souls and then resurrect with Christ and then by the spirit of Christ in us, we can keep the commandments of God. We can live in obedience. Uh in the commandments of God, we can live in holiness and righteousness. So the devil is telling us still because he is a thief. So the ninth commandment of God, let's go back to Exodus chapter 20. Thou shall not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Thou shall not bear false witness against thy neighbor. So God is commanding us, we are not supposed to bear false witness. We are not supposed to lie. False witness is to lie. We are not supposed to lie. So God is commanding us, don't, don't, don't lie. We are not supposed to lie. Then the ninth, the ninth commandment of the devil is lie. The devil is telling us lie because he himself is a father of all liars. God is commanding us don't lie. So the devil is commanding us lie. So if I am lying, then I'm keeping the commandment of the devil and I'm doing the will of my father who is the devil as, as well as you also. If you are lying, then it means that you are not keeping the commandment of God. You are keeping the commandment of the devil. So there is nothing like I'm saved by grace and yet you are still lying. There is nothing like I'm saved by grace and yet you are still stealing. There is nothing like I'm saved by grace. I'm born again Christian and yet you are still committing adultery or fornication. There is nothing like that because you cannot be a child of God yet keeping the commandments of the devil then that's a confusion, okay? There is nothing like that. So let's go back to the very verse that we read, the book of John 10, verse 10. Yeah, John 8. John 8, not 10, John 8. Let's start verse 40, 41. These are the very words of Jesus Christ. You do the deeds of your father. You do the deeds of your father. 
the father is in a small letter. Then said they to him, We be not born of fornication. We have one father, capital father, referring to God, heavenly father, even God. You do the deeds of your father. This father is the devil, so we can do the deeds of our father who is the devil if we are, we are not born again. But if we are born again, we do the deeds of our father, the heavenly father, who is God walking in uh, obedience towards his commandment. So you do the deeds of your father. These are the very words of Christ. You do the deeds of your father. 44, you are of your father, the devil, and the last of your father you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth, abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. So there is no truth in the devil when he speaketh a lie. Do you remember the ninth commandment? God is telling us we are not supposed to uh, witness false against our neighbor. So we are not supposed to lie. So God is telling us because there is no truth in him, there is no truth in the devil. When he speaketh a lie, when the devil speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, his own, his own nature. The devil is, when the devil speaketh a lie, the devil is speaking of his own nature. So if you have a nature of lying, then it is clear that you are keeping the uh, commandment of the devil and you are also a child of the devil. Anyone who is lying, then he is a child of the devil because he has the nature of his father. He speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. The devil is a liar and not only a liar, but also the father of all liars and the father of lie. So God is commanding us in the ninth commandment that don't lie. So the devil is the father of liars. The devil is the father of it. So the devil is telling us lie. Do lie. Do lie. Do steal. Do kill. Okay? So... If this is your lifestyle, then you need to confess before God and turn and turn from all the commandments of the devil and turn from lie. So that the tenth commandment, let's go back to Exodus chapter 20. Exodus chapter 20, verse 17. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house, Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his maid servant, nor his sorry, <clears throat> nor his man man servant, nor his maid servant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor any thing that is thy neighbor's. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house, thou shall not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his man servant, nor his maid servant, nor his ox, nor his donkey, ass, nor any thing that is thy neighbor's. Thou shall not covet. So God is commanding us that we are not supposed to covet. Don't covet. This is T, okay? Don't covet. So God is commanding us, we are not supposed to covet. The tenth commandment of the devil is covet. Covet. We can see how the devil uh, entered in Judas and then made Judas to be carried by covetousness. Then his soul Jesus Christ for 30 pieces of silver. Luke chapter 22 verse 3. Then entered Satan into 
Judas. Then entered Satan into Judas. Remember, God, the commandment of God is that don't covet. The commandment of the devil is covet. Covet. Covet wife of your neighbor. Covet the house of your neighbor. Covet uh, maid servant and man servant of your neighbor. Covet the uh, house of your neighbor. Covet Ev all things of your neighbor. Covet, covet, covet. So when the devil entered in Judas, Judas coveted. Judas was carried by covetousness. Then entered Satan into Judas. We know that ten commandment of Satan is covet. Subname Iscariot. Surname Iscariot. Being of the number of the twelve. Then entered Satan into Judas. Surnamed. Surnamed Iscariot. Being of the number of the twelve then entered Satan into Judas. Judas. So we see when Satan entered in Judas, Judas sold Christ. Judas sold Christ. He was in covetousness. He sold Christ because the devil had entered in him and then he sold Christ. Christ, there was covetousness working in his own soul. Matthew chapter 26 verse 14. We see that uh, we saw in Luke chapter 22 verse 3, the devil entered in, in uh, Judas Iscariot. And then because the devil is commanding us that we should covet, then Judas was carried in covetousness. This is now Matthew chapter 26 verse 14. Then one of the twelve called Judas Iscariot went unto the chief priest and said unto them, What will ye give me? This is covetousness. The devil has entered in his soul. What and said unto them, What will ye give me? And I will deliver him unto you. And they cov cov covenant covenanted. They had a covenant. They covenanted, they had a covenant with him for 30 pieces of silver. Do you see? And, and from that time, he sought opportunity to betray him, to betray Christ. Then, do you see the sin of covetousness after the devil entered in his soul? Then there was covetousness of 30 pieces of, 30 pieces of silver. And for from that time, he sought opportunity to, to betray him so as he may get the 30 pieces of silver. This is covetousness. So God is commanding us. We are not supposed to covet, but the devil is telling us we are, we are supposed to covet. May God help us to turn away from the commandments of the devil by confessing our sins and going back to the commandments of God. Heavenly Father, thank you for this opportunity. God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, let every eye be opened and every heart receive understanding. There is nothing like middle ground, O oh God. Please, O oh Father, may you have mercy upon the blind, upon those, Father, who are living in ignorance and help them understand. They cannot serve two masters as Christ said they ought to serve one master who is God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob there is nothing like middle ground help us O oh Lord in Jesus name Amen so there is nothing like serving two masters we, we, we are called to serve one master who is God of Abraham Isaac and Jacob by obeying his commandments.